Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about Patcher and I'm going to show you the basic functions of it and how to use it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. It comes with uh, two different versions of Patcher with FL Studio. There's a generator version which goes into the channel rack and then an effects version which goes into the mixer. Um, and both of them are pretty similar but the uh, generator version I think is a little bit more versatile so we're going to use that for this uh, tutorial. Um, so essentially what Patcher does is it allows you to create your own uh, routing for plugins as well as your own control surface to adjust different parameters with your own custom knobs. Um, so when you're using the mixer to add effects, it's a linear process. It goes from the top down, so uh, the signal will go through insert one, then two, then three, and so on down the line, uh, as opposed to all of them being affected at once. And Patcher, you can adjust uh, where the signal flows. So if I want to add a generator plugin, let's say I'm just going to add a uh, lounge lizard here. So now I have one instance of a lounge lizard that I can click on and edit just like a regular plugin. Uh, this green line here is MIDI information, and then this uh, yellow line here is signal information. Uh, so I can add another lounge lizard right alongside of it, and now we have uh, two of them. So if I want to press notes there, uh, both of these are being affected. Since they're the same patch, it pretty much just sounds like it's a slightly louder uh, version of one, but uh, it is two separate uh, plugins. And you can see with the signal flow, these are both being affected at the same time. Uh, now, if I want to add effects, I can do that. So let's just get rid of this first one here. I can add plugin, go down to the effects, and let's say I can add some uh, distortion here. I can connect that just like so. Now I got some distortion. Um, and the same thing goes as before. I can add another Lounge Lizard plugin. Now I have two. One of them is being routed around the distortion, and one of them is being routed through the distortion. Uh, I can adjust the uh, signal volume just like that. So if I want less distortion or more distortion, let's say I'll turn down this one. So I can adjust the mix. Um, and I can also add plugins to this side too. If I hit add plugin, I can add uh, some reverb there. Let's disconnect this and reconnect it. And there we go. So now we have some distortion, uh, but the distortion doesn't have any reverb on it, just the dry signal has reverb. Uh, so that's pretty cool, you can do stuff like that. And you can also adjust parameters in here. So let's say I want to automate a parameter. I can go right click here, hit inputs, and then go to parameters, and then we'll see a big list of all these different uh, options for the parameters in here. Uh, let's say I want to affect the time, so I'll select that. I have this little uh, red dot here. Now the red lines are for automation. Uh, so I can right click this and automate it just like a regular automation clip in FL Studio if I hit create automation clip or I can link to controller all sorts of stuff like that but I can go to the surface tab here if I want to and let's say I'll add a knob default knob right there and I can even rename it I'll just call it uh, macro one and now if I go back to the map I can mouse over this and I'll see up in this top corner it says macro one I can connect that and now um, it will adjust my selected parameter, which is the time bar there. And it doesn't just have to be a knob. I can uh, delete this knob. I can add all sorts of stuff. Let's say I want a slider. I'll add a default slider, and I'm not going to name this one. And I can connect it, and it'll work just like the knob does. I can click that. There we go. And you can add all sorts of different uh, parameters to control and different uh, control surfaces. You can add. Um, labels, keyboards, knobs, sliders, XY pads, and um, if you're wondering the different options in here, they all function the same. All of these are knobs, they just look different. So this transparent green knob is, well, a transparent green knob. It works the exact same as all the rest of the knobs, it's just aesthetically a little bit different. And uh, so you can adjust all sorts of parameters there and uh, link them to whatever you want. Uh, it's really, really powerful and an amazing tool really. Um, and so I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do with it, although there are really endless possibilities. I've set up a uh, dual processing here. I have two instances of Lounge Lizard, one of them with a different patch than the other. Um, and I have VFX Color Mapper, which you can find if you go to Add Plugin. Down here there's Patcher and VFX Color Mapper. And essentially what this does is it allow you to uh, have uh, separate MIDI channels for each uh, MIDI input color right here. So if I click this, I have a MIDI 1 right here for these low notes, and then the high notes are a MIDI 2. And if I hit play, you can hear the high notes. 
are our standard patch and then the low notes are a different patch and this isn't just limited to two you can add as many as you want right now it's just set to four but I can uh, adjust all of these if I want and change the colors uh, really the possibilities are endless it comes with a couple of presets as well and you can make your own presets I have this patch here that I made with five different MIDI channels and each one is routed through its own instance of serum so that way I can make chords um, where each voice is its own separate layer without having five different plugins to keep track of. I can do it all in one uh, piano roll instance. It's pretty nice. Uh, so that's the basics of how you can use Patcher. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or give me suggestions for what I should do next time. And if you want to support me, my new album, Completely Implicit, is out now in stores. There's a link in the description. So thank you and have a nice day.